video 2000 Dodge Durango 5.9 liter 46 RE torque converter swap we put the valve body in it upgraded valve body heavy springs valve whatever I didn't do the trick so after a little more study online with the plug taken off the transmission if the torque converter still locks up then uh, must be the torque converter seals are bad inside there anyway we get to test out our new plug that we just made where's my wrench hey where's my wrench here it is let's see how this little thing works there's Dakota putting the seat in Gonna do the trick. Let that run out. So we don't have a bunch of oil coming out the tail shaft. And then from looking on mine, I see you pull the starter, the exhaust pipes, cross member, bell housing bolts, torque converter bolts, take out both drive shafts. We got the front and rear drive shaft. Let's drop those out. And then we'll see where we're at. Have to come back here in a minute for an update. Man, talk about a tight squeeze. That starter bolt, that bottom one was a crazy. I had to get a big piece of square tube and get it broke loose. It was way worse than the this top bell housing bolt. I got both drive shafts out and. I'm gonna wait to take these off to the last because I don't want to be having transmission fluid dripping all over me. Man. And then also, once I take the cross member out, I'm gonna to try to just get this thing to drop down and go back just far enough to get your torque converter in. On this other side, if I can get the torque converter up there and then drop it in, that would be sweet. Otherwise, uh, I've got a long way to go. We'll see how this goes, and I'll get back with you. This thing for being a major pain in the yingster. I had to get out the plasma cutter and cut this off. And then I also had to cut those off up there. The plasma cutter. Some of these bolts, man. I'm trying to get the bolts out of that. The back side of that one was like major pain. And then now I got one more bolt. Now that I have this loose, I might be able to get to that other one. But I'm gonna take the cross member off, take the two hydraulic lines, oil cooler lines loose. And then, yeah, I did get the starter off the top bolt. That wasn't fun. And then the, the dipstick tube bolt at the top, that was, if I didn't have the swivel head ratchet wrench thing like this, it wouldn't have been happening. And, uh, one of these bolts over here broke. And so I had just had to cut the rest of them. Hold on, where is it? Where am I looking at? Up in there, see that one there snapped off, and then the other one they had to cut it. Okay, the other, the one that's on the other side, I actually cut part of that a little bit. With the plasma cutter, and I had a little dilemma up in here. Got my uh, burnt through my shirt, burnt my finger. Burnt through my glove on my finger. Here. I had to switch gloves. Man, this thing's a pain in the yingster, dude. Keep working. Keep working. Oh, yeah. The old one. The new one. Talk about a process. Man. Let's see. Hey. Oh, no. I don't have my 
light. Let me get my light. Oh, here it is. I gotta get to work. Back to the old grind. Hey. Those top two bolts and the bell housing, they were the hardest. Oh. Getting them back in there is gonna be a humdinger. But the torque converter's out. That's a good one. Good step. I could never get this thing off. Even though I cut it off, um, I never could get the exhaust pipe out. But luckily, I didn't need to. I can just kick that with my feet. Get that at last inch and a half or so up in there. Boom. And it'll be time to go back together.